Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Today we're doing a little cement caulking outside. What I want to show is the difference between a gun grade cement caulk. This particular one is eucalastic, a lot of people make them. This is a polyurethane product, very strong, lots of glue to it. This is a quickrete self-leveling polyurethane caulking. Both of them are about the same color. The self-leveling one is going to come out a little bit like water. So you'll see why I'm going to cut that tip at the smallest point possible. The gun grade, we can go a little thicker because it's going to come out in a more controlled fashion. We're going to start with the gun grades. Here we have some cracks. We have some hair lines and some thicker ones. I'm going to show you on the thicker crack what this is going to look like when this comes out. You can see that this product is going to stay where I put it. It's not going to level. It's going to come out and it's going to stay. Now where it's thick here, this is going to have to be done in two steps. So we get a little bit on each side and we'll let it adhere to each side and if we have to put a little bit more in there we will. So that's gun grade. It's thick like putty. I've got a little control. I can put it on a vertical surface it'll probably stay for me. Self leveling. A little harder to deal with. We might even have to waste a little just so I can get the tip full. Get a napkin so I can clean as I work. Towels around caulking. I like to tear them into pieces that makes it into finger wipes. As I'm using it, I can take small pieces of paper towel, wipe the caulking off the surface or my fingers, whatever I'm using, and I throw that little bit away. So here I got a little caulking coming out of this gun. I want to take a paper towel. I want to clean the tips when I go to my joint it's clean, this little piece of paper towel, I can throw it away. When I'm all done and they dry out, I'll go around the job site and I'll clean them up. This goes in the joint, it's gonna to start to level and it will go down and disappear, which the good is, it does that. The bad is, it goes down and it disappears. It's already starting to sag. We'll come back to this in a second and you'll be able to look at it. Our thicker caulk, it's sagging a little too. But that was a huge joint we went across. We would have never made it across that joint with the self-leveling caulk. So now here's the reason why I brought this home. Airline cracks in this mortar work here. Take a look in here and you can see where my mortar is failing. Where water or expansion contraction has gotten in here and it has created a void that's gonna cause me some problems. So we're gonna use the self-leveling caulk because I can get it to sneak in where I want it to. Patience is the key in this job. You're not going to be in a hurry and do this very well. And I'll show you what's going to happen. I'm going to take a little piece, very small pieces of paper towel, and we're wiping off the excess. But if I get that on me, I'm going to be a chocolate mess. I'm going to get this all over the place. We're wiping off the caulk. We're not letting it smear, and as you can see, we filled the crack, and as of yet, but the trick is, as soon as you get a gob of caulk, get rid of it before that gob causes a smear. You wipe up the excess as you work. You only do as much caulking as you can wipe within a minute or two. You don't let this lay too long. There is a decent view of the proper way of getting some thin caulk into a hairline crack that when this dries, it will be just about invisible. So here's where we started out. The self-leveling clock, as you can see, has self-leveled. Down in the void, deep, it's gone. So we'll have to do numerous passes here. The thicker wiping clock, as you can see, hasn't done anything. It looks the same way as we, as we applied it. So when you put it in, and you want it to look good, you wipe it off. So when, when you use a gun grade caulk, it's thicker. Means that it's not self-leveling, it's not liquid. And when you put it in, it will hang, as you can see, and it's thicker, it's like window putty. By using these many little napkin wipes, I have not smeared any caulk, I've only removed it. So it makes the joint look a lot more professional. And I force the caulk deeper into the crack, because where we want caulking, is we want caulking down in between 
are surfaces that are going to move. Putting a big old fat bead of caulk on top only allows mildew and dirt. When you have too much caulk on the surface, a lot of times when people caulk a joint and they put a big old cove of caulk in there, they think that cove is going to hold the joint together. It's not going to do it so well. Where it's going to hold the joint together is in between the two moving surfaces. So you want to get the caulk down in the crack so that you're actually bonding the two surfaces together, whether I'm in my shower, my kitchen sink, or out here on my bricks. I don't need to see a cove of caulk. It is not going to glue anything together. Our goal here is to fill the void, keep it clean, keep, we want to keep the caulk joint discreet. So the less caulk, the less you can see, the cleaner the joint is going to look when we're done. We're looking a lot more like a, a, a mortar joint. And as you can see, this gun grade caulk here is a little lighter than the self-leveling caulk. Now as you're doing different kinds of brick and different kinds of cement, you buy two or three kinds of caulk so that you take and do a couple test samples and see which caulk actually blends with the mortar of your house. Some mortars are grayer, some mortars are a lot more beige. It's not always the first tube that you choose is the one. And if you're gonna do a job like mine, where you're gonna spend a lot of time being very careful getting it in nice and beautiful, you might as well spend six more dollars and get exactly the right color of caulks when you're done. You look like the hero. Your job will last a long time and you've done it right the first time 